Hi everyone, I'm Vinod and welcome to my channel, Vin Career Talks. So I work in the Bay Area as an HR leader and I try to work with students as much as possible in terms of giving guidance on careers. And one news article stood out to me as I was going through the newspapers today. This was an article from the Telegraph about why students are not picking up IIT Karakpur, especially top ranking IIT students. Um, who have a choice of going to choose computer science at IIT Kharagpur, even if they're given full scholarships, they are not joining IIT Kharagpur. So this is an unfortunate fact. And it's something stood out as bizarre to me. And I wanna talk about both this reason, what's with some of the IITs? Why do some IITs get all the top talent and others don't get a great deal? And I also wanna talk a little bit about how all these students are making a blunder in their lives and not doing things for the right reasons. And they're just being guided by practices from the past. So I'll talk about how important computer science is as part of my second discussion today. So let me begin by sharing some information about IIT Kharagpur in terms of the article I saw today. So folks, if you look at the screen out here, this is what the headline is. JE toppers prefer IIT Delhi and Mumbai over IIT Kharagpur. Now this stands out for a reason that IIT Kharagpur is actually giving full scholarships to people from the top 100 ranks willing to join IIT Kharagpur. This scholarship actually covers a bunch of fees, like it covers your tuition, it covers your institute fees, your hall expenses, meals, textbooks, laptops, connectivity, relocation, personal expenses. I'm like blown away. It's like, it's such an awesome deal at one of the prestigious IITs, the oldest IITs, and there's nobody choosing it. Oh my goodness, what's happening here? So this is where I want to talk a little about some of the blunders made by students when it comes to seat selection. So it looks like IIT Bombay, people in the top 67 ranks choose computer science. And in IIT Delhi, uh, in the top 100, they choose computer science. And even if you are in the top 100 and if you don't get computer science, students prefer to take up electrical engineering or electronics at IIT Bombay and do not think about choosing computer science at other locations. So this has not always been the history in the past. So I, there were times where I've heard in the 1990s IIT Kanpur used to be the top spot for computer science. All the top rankers used to choose IIT Kanpur in the 90s and early 2000s. People used to choose IIT Madras computer science over even IIT Bombay. The interesting thing is that basically the professors, the instruction is not changed from the, the 90s and 2000s. It's pretty much similar. And students unfortunately seem to have gravitated directly towards choosing IIT Bombay. So what's happening with IIT Kharagpur is that they're trying to get people in and they're basically saying that anybody who has a gross income of 20 lakhs and below in the top 100 ranks, if they choose IIT Kharagpur, you get all these freebies in terms of scholarships. And I think students are being stupid in terms of not picking up this offer. This is one of the best offers available. And let me also share a personal anecdote in terms of um, why do some recruiters prefer to come to IIT Delhi and Mumbai and not come to some of the other IITs? I was part of the Samsung Electronics uh, recruiting team and we were the first to give a very good international offer for students from IITs. So I came to many IITs in 2012 and 2013 to recruit students. And the top compensation we claimed was that we are giving $150,000 of compensation. And that is the first time somebody was giving us such a big compensation and it was all over the news. But I had an inside track into what happened because I was part of the team which is releasing offers on behalf of Samsung Electronics to work in Korea. So when I look at my Samsung experience, the reason why Samsung chose some IITs and not others is because we had Korean executives come from Korea to actually recruit students. So all VPs and above, very busy. So they wanted to make sure they come in to an airport, go to the location as fast as possible, finish the interview process and fly back to Korea. So 
what this meant is that if you want to be close to an airport, you can only go to some IITs, not all IITs. So you can go to Bombay, which is close to the, um, the Powai campus is close to the IIT Bombay airport. You can go to IIT Delhi, which is also close by the Delhi airport. You can go to IIT Madras, which is close to the, again, the uh, Madras airport, Chennai airport. So this was actually one of the criteria used and Samsung Electronics in 2012 did not go to IIT Kanpur, did not go to IIT Kharagpur, and the reasons being that it's difficult to come to Kanpur. It's difficult to come to IIT Kharagpur. I've gone to IIT Kharagpur and it's not easy. You got to take a train, you got to get down at the Calcutta station, go to the railway station, catch a train. Uh, it's, it takes a lot of time to reach IIT Kharagpur. It's not a simple like one flight. So when students look at selecting institutes, they need to look at a bunch of things. So computer science is the most preferred by recruiters, like more than every other department, they really look for computer science as, as something they will look for in your resume. So whether it is some of the other IITs, whether it's a low ranked IIT, new IIT, computer science is gonna work wonders for your career. So you can always close your eyes and take up computer science. And this will help you throughout your career because most students are short-sighted because they're only looking at placements at the point of time they finish the undergrad program but I think you need to have a bigger point of view. So you need to look at things like if you're gonna go in for higher studies, whichever IIT you study from is basically material. It doesn't matter. And uh, if you're going for MBA, of course your uh, choice of uh, IIT doesn't matter because it's what, what you learned and what you internalized, that's what matters. IIT Karakpur, off late has been having fantastic placements right from the Googles of the world. And I think many companies have realized that it's not just about JE ranks, it's also more about the value added with the institute, institute. So IIT Kharagpur has all the top companies coming there, except maybe one or two, which comes to IIT Bombay and Delhi. But for the sake of one or two companies, would you give up on an IIT like Kharagpur, Kanpur, Guwahati, some of the other IITs and go towards some of the IITs at Delhi and Bombay? It seems very short-sighted to me. IIT Bombay, yes, I study in IIT Bombay. They have some very good cultural programs and all that, but Come on guys, I mean, you're there to get educated, right? I mean, fun is great, but again, that should not be the only reason why you end up choosing one institute over the other. There's all the mad reliance on opening and closing ranks. Everybody wants to do exactly what the years before them did. And the year before them is trying to follow what the others did. So it's almost like everybody is following the herd without applying their brain. So that's something to watch out for. Uh, a lot of great programs in IIT Kharagpur, IIT Kanpur, Gohadi, and other places, and which unfortunately do not get noticed because it is not in Bombay and Delhi. Okay, so the takeaway from this conversation is that I think computer science is an extremely important specialization. Choose it at whichever IIT you get or whichever engineering schools you get. I think that helps a lot because most of the jobs are gravitating towards computer science. I did a video earlier about placements in IIT Madras, and I was trying to show that across disciplines, most students are looked on for the computer science skills. So if you're looking at the job placements, there are hardly 10 to 20% of students, maybe 30% of students who get core jobs. So even if you're a chemical engineer, civil engineer, they're all going into either computer science or they're going into finance or data analytics that really like 70% of the job is definitely finance, data analytics, or computer science. There is no getting away from computer science. I mean, you, of course you can get core jobs in the space you have specialized in, but compensation is gonna be a bit lower as long as you're willing to settle for something different. And if you have a very strong passion for it, you can do whatever you want. But most people, if they look at compensation, if they look at number of jobs, they do gravitate towards computer science jobs. So it is weird that people would study mechanical, chemical engineering for four years and then end up in a computer science job because you could pretty much do that by studying computer science elsewhere. Okay, so I know I'm talking about something controversial, so no, but I'm talking from a recruiter's point of view. So I think there's a distance between me and the students. So I can see what happens to students as they launch their career. So I'm saying that like, uh, do not, discount the newer IITs, give it equal importance, choose branch more than IITs, and that's gonna help you a lot. 
and uh, again branch over even institute i think that matters a lot iit experience is very similar uh, but again i think iits are also a bit overrated because uh, a lot of students go for higher studies and your undergrad doesn't matter or they go in for ms programs and again undergrad doesn't matter much and uh, i mean you have leaders like uh, the ceo of microsoft and uh, he studied from the manipal institute of technology so there are a lot of good schools available in india the ceo of adobe uh, also did not go to an iit he went to a different school so you can get excellent education even from other schools as long as you have the drive and passion you can rise in your career so your background will not matter your undergrad will not matter okay let me stop here uh, if you any have any questions let me know in the comments but please subscribe to this channel and make sure you share it with your friends um, i think that's the best way um, for me to see that people appreciate some of the value i'm trying to add to this channel and also i can get a sense of like who's liking it and who's sharing it thanks everyone have a good one cheers